Now, if, if you go to the question about uh, distributed cloud once again, uh, how did you folks start, get it started, and what vision you have for the future, and how you're seeing the journey in the middle? Where this all started was our customers were looking at our content delivery network and saying, you've got this incredible globally distributed backbone with all this capacity and performance built in. Why can't we, instead of just putting our content on it, actually deploy our applications? And several years ago, we actually worked with Apple to enable iCloud Private Relay by deploying containers on our platform and managing that product on our edge. So that was the first foray of our deployment of customer code onto our edge network. Since then, we've had num a number of other customers approach us for similar use cases. And so what we're doing now with our distributed cloud build out is we have core data centers. We've got 28 of those. We've got distributed data centers. There's 10. And then we have 4,200 points of presence for our CDN around the globe. On those 4,200 points of presence, we're now scaling a managed container service. So our customer can give us their containerized workload. Our services team will learn how to operate and manage the application. And then we will do a fully managed containerized application on our network. And so the, the scale of distribution is totally self-managed from core to distributed or fully Akamai managed for you on our edge. And then depending on your latency requirements, the scale and the reach that you need for your application, you have the flexibility to choose self-managed in the core and the distributed or fully managed and globally distributed on our edge network. And in all cases, there are concerns about you know, is it something that I have to relearn? What is the orchestration going to be like? How will I scale? The, the benefit of building a cloud onto a CDN means that all of our expertise in automatically scaling up and scaling down, being able to deal with failing machines and fail over, understanding what your workload tolerance needs to be for the users you're trying to reach, and then orchestrating the networking to get you there is where Akamai's bread and butter has been for the last 25 years. And so as we look at where we're going for distribution, it's enabling more of that automation. So basically you give us a workload, you tell us what users you're trying to reach with it and what your tolerance is for delivery, for latency and for scale. And then we will orchestrate that for you. And that's where we're headed over the next three years is that full orchestration without you having to manage the infrastructure yourself.